Wedding season is right around the corner and many of you will have memories to record. Hello everyone, Miss Carrie here. Today I'm going to show you how to create this gorgeous layout as I share some simple ways that you can elevate your scrapbook pages with dies. Let's take a look at the supplies we'll be using today. I've partnered with scrapbook.com to share the Tim Holtz Vault 2 collection. In a recent card making video, I shared the entire collection that was released by Sizzix. The die set that I'm using today is called Watch Gears. It has a lovely vintage pocket watch and all the pieces needed to create a three dimensional piece. Or you could use these items separately as I'm going to do today. To make the metal gear pieces, I'm going to be using this holographic paper from scrapbook.com. This is a really simple way to make gold and silver elements for your projects. To elevate this layout, I'm going to bring in rose gold metallic letters. Aren't these lovely? These match perfectly with the Ideology backdrop patterns. The patterns in this book are going to add an organic and vintage feel to my page today. As you know, I also enjoy adding phrases to my layout, so I've grabbed this clippings sticker book. It has some great phrases for wedding photos. Our daughter's wedding took place at a ranch, so I've gathered some dyes to create wildflowers. The Delicate Leaves collection is one of my favorites that I use often. As always, I do encourage you to use your own supplies when you're creating a project, but if you'd like a list of the items I'm using today, I've provided you with links to these supplies in the description below. Before I bring in the dies, I want to create the basic pieces for my layout. I've created a frame with sage cardstock, and I'm going to use patterns from the Ideology collection to create the layers for my page. This gorgeous photo of our daughter was taken outdoors in the fall, so I'm going to pick patterns that match her wedding colors and the grasses and wildflowers in the background. I also want to bring in some green patterns. She kept her wedding colors simple with green hues and natural elements, and these here are going to be perfect. All right, let me cut these down real quick. Her wedding dress was white with vintage lace, glitter, and a coffee-colored tulle layer that created a warm glow. It was perfect for a fall wedding. This floral pattern will bring out some of that warmth. Behind the photo, I'm going to add this script pattern here, and I'll bring in this darker green below. These will frame the photo nicely. One of the simplest ways to elevate a page is with a mixed media or textured background. On this page, I'm going to add texture with the gear pieces from that watch gear collection. There are multiple die shapes that range in size from about a half an inch to a little over an inch in diameter. My sweet husband cut these all out from white cardstock, and I'm going to use these to create an embossed look on the background. I'm laying these out first so that I can create a balanced design. I want a mix of toothed gears, smooth sided gears, and a variety of sizes throughout the backdrop. I'm going to use Artiste glue to adhere these in place. This bottle comes with multiple tips. I have the ultra fine on here right now. The remaining pieces are stored in this little bottle that comes with the kit. There's a fine green tip, the white storage tip, and a stainless steel pin to remove clogs. This kit also comes with a converter cap to attach all these tips to. To create this embossed look, I'm layering two of each shape onto my layout. I discovered that it was much easier to layer the pieces together before I adhered them to the page. Some of the gears were easy to match up, while others had to be rotated and flipped to match up all the parts of the die cut. 
Many of these gear pieces went off the edge of my paper so that I could create a continuous looking pattern. I'm just gonna trim these with scissors and use the leftover pieces on the edges or towards the center of the page. The ideology patterns are 10 inches long, so I need to cut this one in two to fit the length of my page. The photo will cover up the gap and you'll never know that I had this here. To make sure everything lines up, I'm going to bring in my T ruler real quick. Off camera, I added some stitching and now I'll lay the photo and the patterns in place here in the center. I have placed a little bit of foam tape behind that photo to add some dimension to my page. Below the photo, I'm going to add some scallop layers to represent all the beautiful layers in her dress. I cut these out with a die from an ideology pattern and I'm adding ink to the edges. This dark brown ink is going to create some separation between the layers when I adhere them together. I'm going to use a little bit of glue and offset these slightly as I adhere the pieces in place. I chose to use liquid adhesive because I thought that I would add some stitching. It's always best to use a liquid adhesive if you plan to run it through your sewing machine. Double-sided tape can gum up the machine. Once all those layers are in place, I'm going to bring in this white scallop border and adhere it below all the layers. As you can see, this creates a lovely grounding element below my photo. All right, let's cut out the pieces and make a pocket watch. The gear pieces are going to be cut from silver and gold holographic paper. This is a thinner metallic paper, so if you plan to create three-dimensional pieces, I suggest that you layer it over cardstock, and I'll show you how I did that here in a moment. For the watch piece, I'm using a floral pattern. I want some of this to peek out behind the watch mechanisms, so I'm going to lay this outer piece over the flower. To create a dimensional piece, I'm going to cut a watch layer from cardstock and cut this circle piece from the center of the floral pattern watch piece. I'll layer everything together on that cardstock and use some foam tape to pop up the frame. The remaining pieces are being cut from the ideology patterns. You're welcome to cut these from cardstock, metallic papers, glitter cardstock, or any other item that matches your project. Now that all the pieces are cut, I'm going to layer the gears over some white cardstock. Like I said, the metallic papers are thin and the cardstock will provide the structural dimension needed when I layer all these pieces together. To give this a realistic look, I'm going to pop this frame up with foam tape. I'm using 1 8 inch foam strips around the outside of the watch and then I'll lay this over that cardstock piece. The center circle is going to be adhered in place. And as I do this, I'm going to line up the floral images so that a small amount of this shows when the gears are layered in the center. I'm going to bring over the die set so that I can use that photo as a reference when I'm layering all of these in place. Now, of course, you can put the gears wherever you wish, or you can create a clock face using the hands and the numbers. As you saw, I cut these from metallic papers today, but the gears could be created using multiple mediums. You could bring in some metallic sprays, inks, or glitter brushes. In a previous video, I used paint and embossing powders to make my gears look old and rusted. I'll add a link to that video in the description below, just in case you want to give it a try. As I finish assembling this pocket watch, I would love it if you took a moment to tap the subscribe button, or let me know that you're enjoying today's project with a thumbs up or a comment. Your comments are always appreciated, and I enjoy responding to each one. I also enjoy answering questions, so if you have any, feel free to post those in the comments as well. All right, so our watch is finally finished. Let's place this onto the page and add some leaf layers. 
These were cut from the ideology patterns using the intricate leaf dies. Most of her wedding decorations consisted of soft green foliage, so I chose multiple green hues for these. I'm adding some above and below the pocket watch, and a few at the top left side of the photo. In the photo, there are tall fall grasses and a few yellow wildflowers. So I'm going to add a bit of soft yellow to those bunches. These were also cut from an ideology pattern with the dyes in the collection. For my title, I'm going to use rose gold sticker letters to spell the word timeless. I backed these with black to make them stand out against the pattern papers. I have laid some mint tape on my layout. This just helps me to make sure those letters line up nice and straight. Once I'm finished with the title, it's easy to remove. From the sticker book, I'm going to add a free sticker here at the top, and I'll place two below the title, and then I'll finish off this page with some soft, warm pearls. The sticker near the top says, all her dreams would come true. The ones below the title say, brimmed with confidence beneath the golden sky. I'm going to finish adhering all these pearls in place, and then I'll share the completed page with you. This page is packed full of texture, and it has such an elegant monochromatic look. I chose to keep this design very simple with some patterned papers, metallics, and pearls, but this design can easily be modified to fit just about any occasion. Today I shared a gorgeous wedding layout and demonstrated multiple ways that you can use pieces from the Watch Gears die collection. Not only did you discover how to craft mechanical parts using metallic papers, we also explored ways to enhance die cuts with paper patterns and how to create remarkable embossed backdrops with those dies. I hope this project inspired you to give one of these techniques a try. If you're one who enjoys pinning photos to inspiration boards, I've added still shots of this layout to my scrapbook.com gallery and to my website for you to use. I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions about this project or the supplies I used, feel free to post those in the comments below. I hope you have a wonderful week and I can't wait to see what you create.